An army barrack? Yeah, it looks like an army barrack. We can't have that. We have to fix it. Hold on. You got to come see it from the other side. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. we got to fix that. Yeah. Well, hello, Marshy Marsh. What's Daddy doing outside? What you doing? Hey. Babe, how long have you been out? We're, it's in the morning right now. So 5.30 a.m. is when I started. It's gonna be hard to see with the fisheye for the wide angle lens, but you can see the top of the fin. Okay, I'm gonna go straight to it. Come out here, hey, Mr. Fluff Fluff. And uh, I realized that there is chicken wire all on the top of this because the other day we caught cupcake in another yard and we're like, okay. Our other neighbor was laughing because that's what happened in Nubs. He was an indoor cat and they tried to keep him indoors, but dude wasn't having it. <laughs> can you see? Look at that. That's so funny. So he's gonna put like an L and then that's gonna hold them over so they can't pop over. So that'll be interesting to see. You're doing good, daddy, you're doing good. Thanks. So Cupcake's been out here for around two or three weeks. He's right over there. And in that time, he's been on top of the Beavis's castle, like on the, the steeple, the point of the chimney. Tallest part of the tree. He scaled that tree. That tree. He has scaled that tree. That tree. He has scaled that tree over there. That tree. He has attempted to scale this skinny one right here about five times. <laughs> He's jumped up on top of the fence line. He's a cat. He's a cat. He's a crazy cat. He's a handful. So what we're going to do is we're going to try. That's the attempt. Can we cat proof this backyard for under 300 bucks and actually be effective? That's yeah. the plan. And if we can't, he just is who he is and we let him go. <laughs> yeah, this is He's our... going to be like nubs. This is our final stand. Our last stand is this security perimeter. And if it doesn't work, good luck, Cupcake. <laughs> He's like, y'all, I can't wait. Can't wait. Challenge <laughs> accepted. And then I reconfigured our backyard <laughs> so it could be a little daredevil in. Ooh, you're gonna fall off the edge. You're gonna fall off the edge. No, you're not gonna fall off the edge. Woo! And then the cats just really love to be over here on these things because they're cool. So, oh, I know it looks like I put a lot of plants, but it's not. It's just they were separate. And I just squished them together. And then look, our neighbors that moved in <laughs> that didn't get their plants that our other neighbor gave to us instead because they didn't move in yet. <laughs> they look good. Are you having trouble? Yeah. Are you going to vomit? <laughs> and look what we did with this pod. Boo boo, go test your pod. So, we redid our upstairs so that it was more comfortable for my back. And so that meant this had to go, but we put it in there. So it's his little space outside pod. Cannot believe you're doing this. This is awesome. Are you happy with it? I'm happy with it. Like, I don't even notice it. I counted. There are 42 posts. Oh my gosh. Each post is eight feet apart from one another. Okay. And that equals to roughly around 350 square feet. Just 350 feet of fence. Oh my gosh. That he can jump over. Okay. For under 300 bucks. Under 300 bucks. We I'm can do so this. I'm so proud of you. You can do this. Chicken wire is like, Pennies on the dollar. That it's was like super cheap. It's like 20 bucks for 50 feet, right? Yeah, the most expensive part were the brackets, which is the next part I'll show you guys. And I'll walk you through it at the very end on how I did it if you have cats at home and you want to emulate this at home because it's a really cheap, cost-effective way of hopefully, fingers crossed, getting them out. Once you guys see the angle brackets that make the thing go like this, you'll understand. Because right now, you guys are probably like, I think they can probably jump over that. Yeah. You'll see. And then nobody can see it from the other side. Right. Oh, little cat haven out here. Like, I'm shocked and I'm proud. <laughs> Why? Why are you shocked? You're sweating. You don't like to sweat. I hate sweating, but you know what? I love them kitties. Yeah, yeah. You love them kitties. Cupcake, he went over there. Okay. In a boat. He dug a hole so he could uh, poo. <gasps> That's yeah. awesome. And then covered it up. Speaking of them, they see the birds. They make these funny things. They do this little, Bubba, have you seen them do it? They do this little thing where they open their mouths and their little whiskers go thrr, thrr, uh -huh. and then they like chatter. Seeing him do it is hilarious because he doesn't know he's a cat. Yeah, look at him, look at his mouth open. Why is your mouth open? Cats are a when they do your mouth open? Does that make you smell better? Look, he's doing it too. He's doing that Like he really wants it. They do that when they want something really bad. And the little birds are telling each other, stay away. Hey, buddy. Hi. So proud of you, Dad. Aww. That's so sweet. <laughs> I can't even see Daddy. Man, I gotta do my project, but I'm waiting for it not to be 105 degrees. Yeah. Because I wanna move these closer in and just make it to right there. Actually, I kinda really wanna continue this because it's not a big poo area. 
I'm so proud of you. Look at you working hard. Are you okay? Getting hotter. Oh, I'm like, hey, did you hurt yourself? No, no. you're just resting. Just resting. Wow. Wow. Man, man, like I can't tell you what this does to me. <laughs> You're so proud. Eh? You so you like getting sweaty. You like doing yard work. You're right. out here. Well, Buzz and I are going in to uh, play video games in the air conditioner. <laughs> right, cool. Thanks for yeah. coming with that. <laughs> it's so hot. It's so hot. It's not even nine o'clock in the morning, and he's out there just working. I'm so proud of him. Excuse us, Marshy Marsh. So I got this in, and this thing has been amazing. So now we can let them in and out at night, which is awesome. And then Eddie's little fish tank thing, it just kind of works perfect. Man, I had glued these on here, but it's not necessary. <laughs> so you finished, huh? <laughs> what are these? Didn't you say you had half these and half white ones? Yeah, the other was in the trunk, but I figure, you know, it was just really hard to grab. So we have some gray ones, we have some white ones. Obviously, we wanted all gray, but I bought them out. I needed 42 of them. <laughs> So Good. the idea is this goes on the fence post, okay. and then we zip tie the fishnet. So that way it's jutting forward, they cannot jump. You have since taken a shower. <laughs> I have. So I went to go get the mail. Okay. It looks like we're running some sort of a, like a training camp on the <laughs> other side. I know you wanted to do it yesterday, but you gotta come see this. An army barracks? Yeah, it looks like an army barracks. Yes, we can't have that, we have to fix it. Hold on, you gotta come see it from the other side. It's hilarious. Man, I can't wait till it cools down so I can finish this. Not so bad, right? Not so bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. we gotta fix that. Yeah. It's like we're running military drills in our backyard. <laughs> With our son. <laughs> but you know what else? Now that we're out here, I have to redo her face. It rained really hard and it just poked it open just enough that I need to redo her face. I've redone her face like three times. I have to redo that part too. Um, but other than that, everything's been holding up pretty good. I gotta get back out here. Look did more of Hank. He looks so much better. I gotta bring the Yodas back. You're doing it right now, look at you. I should lower it, You need I? it to lower, absolutely. Because we want it to be hidden. It needs to be hidden. You gotta go like further. Yeah, that's perfect, just like that. I don't know, one more, do one more. Like it's not gonna hurt to have it really under. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna zip tie it? Why not, is that far? No. Oh my gosh, this is like me trying to buckle my belt, babe. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna need two zip ties a pop. Uh, Those were the biggest ones you got? No, no, there's some other big ones. You're gonna need but the I other bought big a ones. I bought a ton of these, this okay, size. Okay, so two. How do I do this? Bro? Do two. What are you doing? No, come here. <laughs> what the, what, you noob? Give me this. Watch. Can I wrap my brain around this? Because it just goes like this. I do this all the time. Hey, See? that's brilliant. And then we go like this, Tighten ready? It. Tighten it tight. Ugh, that's really tight. Then we bend Whoa. it. Whoa! And then that's it. So this is what they are gonna see from far away. Look, 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 look. Look, look at that. Does it go down like this? So well. It's, it's got a lift? Okay, real talk. We probably could have cool. used bigger ones, but they were significantly more expensive. Like, I think these are 12 by 14. Okay, but look, they you, need 14 to, by 16. you need to make it tight so it doesn't look over the thing. <laughs> we could even manage to go down one. You feel me? No, 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 no. All right, this give me the thing. I enough. need two of them. All right, we need to do this 42 more times. Okay, Strider has affixed this on here. Babe, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way that Cupcake or any other cat is going to be able to scale this. I don't even mind the chicken wire. No. It doesn't bother me at all. Nope. It's like kind of invisible. Look. Yeah, we just need to secure it after the fact. Let's just, yeah. Looks good. Thanks, babe. Look, Chiquita. Chiquita, eat Chiquita it. Cargus. Don't eat it. Oh my gosh, one of the people walking by, they collect these. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, we need to start smashing them.